I'm Brooke. I was given the terminal diagnosis of ALS. Today is day four of posting every day for ALS Awareness Month. To be eligible for trials in ALS, you typically need to have symptoms under 24 months. And I got diagnosed four years into symptoms. So by the time I got diagnosed, I was ineligible for most trials. I mostly rely on expanded access where certain trials will give all patients access to the drug. But for people who are eligible for trials, if you are in the first two years of being diagnosed, I'm gonna show you a tool that might help you navigate trials. Fair warning, I have not used it, so I feel like Michael Scott when he first downloads PowerPoint and he's like, it's gonna take about 10, five, 10 minutes. ALS TDI created an ALS trial navigator. Let's do the guided trial finder. Which of these best describes you? I have ALS. What are you searching for? Trials of treatments, observational studies, ways to access treatments outside of trials. That's interesting. When was your first symptom? September 2018. Was your diagnosis? March 2022. I do not carry a mutation. Vital capacity. Last time I think it was 94. What medications are you on? Rylazol, Radicaba. Are you taking off-label medications or supplements? I sure am. Yes, I can swallow. Born December. Oh, a big scroll. 88. Show me all trials. It only spit out one that I'm eligible for. Rapa 501 therapy gives me all the deets and then who you contact. It's pretty neat. That was pretty cool. You could see it started with like almost 300 trials and then because of my criteria, it lowered down to one. But if you're newly diagnosed or if you're under the first two years, that's how you can navigate the trials. All right, 27 more questions to go. I will see you all tomorrow.